What? Wait, 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 what's ha what's happening? No, no, wait, no, but I'm playing, but I'm playing ADP. I'm not supposed to, no, no, not like, not like this, not like, not like this. <laughs> Like this! Does playing against Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX get you down? With the new Weepin' Bell Salazzle deck from Battle Styles, knocking out ADP is as easy as 1, 2, 3. Step 1, we use Yellhorn to confuse the Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX. Step 2, we use Weepin' Bell, new from Battle Styles, with the Dangerous Mucus ability to inflict both poison and burn on the Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia GX. With three status conditions, we're ready for step three, Salazzle, with the derisive roasting attack. For two colorless energy, it does 90 damage for each special condition, affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. With three special conditions, that's 270 damage, plus the 10 damage for poison, plus the 20 damage from burn for a total of 300 damage. And you can use this attack for just one energy attachment, thanks to triple acceleration energy and twin energy. This deck is a ton of fun to play. It can also utilize the new Bruno supporter from Battle Styles, which allows you to shuffle your hand into your deck and draw seven cards if one of your Pokemon was knocked out last turn. And since all of our attackers have 90 hit points, our attackers are going to be getting knocked out pretty consistently, allowing Bruno to draw you a lot of cards throughout the game. 90 hit points also means that all of our Pokemon are searchable via Level Ball, a new item card from Battle Styles, which gets you a Pokemon with 90 hit points or less into your hand, which is awesome. We can search out Weeping Bell, Bellsprout, Salazzle, and Salandit all with Level Ball. So it's a very powerful search card for this deck and really helps with early game consistency. We also play Scoop Up Net so that we can use Weeping Bell's Dangerous Mucus ability over and over again throughout the game. Leon allows you to hit a maximum of 330 damage with the poison and burn add up between turns. And Koga's Trap can allow you to inflict confusion and poison with the effect of a supporter, which is also useful since you can reuse it with Mewtwo and the Mind Report ability. Check out the highlights from the stream and let me know in the comments below what do you think of the new Weeping Bell Salazzle deck? Alright, we're gonna get these guys. Hope they don't turn one, do 200 damage to my Crobat. But if they do, it's cool because I'll turn two, do 280 damage to their man over here and knock it out. I literally, against a deck with Mewtwo's and Charizard's in it, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I only have to attack two times and we win. That's so sick. Galarian Zigzagoon. Nah, you ain't, you ain't got my, my Bell Sprout like that. No chance. Literally just two attacks and we win. I'm stoked that we actually can like realistically play the Brock. Oh, what's that? What's that? Chat. I think they might be done. I think, I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it don't quite have it. All right, all right, all right. False alarm, chat. False alarm. All right, false alarm. Yeah, we gotta wait one more turn, chat. One more turn. All right, we're gonna we're gonna feed him the bell sprout. That's fine. And they're totally gonna take the bait. All right, here we go. The bell sprout. The bell sprout bait. The sacrificial sprout. And then we'll Bruno. Did I say Brock? I meant Bruno, yeah. You get to Bruno. It it basically is Brock too. I'm sorry. Are they outraged? They took the they took the bait. Alright, now we got him right where we want him, chat. Right where we want him. They have no idea that I'm about to Bruno for seven cards and send this Reshiram and Charizard GX packing, baby. Packing. Here we go. Yup. Absolutely free. Look at it. Yeah, three special conditions, baby. Read it in Weeping Bell. <laughs> Read it in Weeping Bell. You get it? Do you get it? Do you get the joke? 
do you get the read it and weeping bell? Uh, <laughs> do you get the do you get the joke? <laughs> yeah, insane deck, man. All right, so then we can go and uh, quick ball away. Probably just the other quick ball seems fine. And uh, oh, I don't have my Mewtwo in the deck. That's cool. We'll get the Denny. It's no problem. We'll grab that. And, uh, yeah, man. I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with the uh, derisive roasting. I think I might as well scoop this thing up. Just so that I have two options to evolve in case they got. Because they could gust my Bell Sprout and then I couldn't take the knockout, right? Three prize cards. What you going to do about that? Huh? What you what you going to do about the fact that I just used derisive roasting for 270 damage? This deck is really cool, guys. It's it's a cool deck. This is the coolest single prize deck that I feel like I've played in a long time. Man, I can't believe we got Cherim Maractus out of Battle Styles, and we've got Salazzle Bell. We've got what 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 was the name of it? What was it? it? Was no, you guys had a cool nickname for Salazzle Bell. It's not Salazzle Bell. It was uh the Weeping Lizard. There we go. Yeah yeah, yeah. the Weeping Lizard. There. <laughs> the Weeping Lizard. Yeah, it's like get it. It's like the Winking Lizard, the tavern, but like you know the Weeping Lizard. Yeah yeah. We got the ball jugglers. I think the ball, the ball jugglers are not. The ball jugglers don't live up to the weeping lizard or the or the chair maractus deck though. All right, stamp to three, no problem. Free, <laughs> absolutely free. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Let's go. All right, here we go. Yellhorn. Okay. The Weeping Bell. And all I need is the energy. Yep. There we go. And uh, did a change. Streamer luck. How is he so lucky? I stamped him to three. <laughs> Streamer luck, bro. <laughs> look at this deck. Look at it, man. Did you just look at that? All right, Dedenne active, three level balls in the open hand. That is so sick. So land it. Level ball. Another bell sprout. Cool. Chilling. Man, I love that this card is legal. Tell me I'm playing against ADP. Tell me I get the turn one K the turn two KO on an ADP. Tell me I can knock out this ADP turn two. Do not Marnie me. No. Who told you you could do that? I certainly did not tell you. Well, that's a pretty poggers hand, actually. All right, chat, press one for, press one for they're done, bud. Press two for I'll lose this game somehow. One for they're totally done, two for, yeah, 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 they're totally done. They've got no chance of survival, absolutely. Yeah, they're absolutely roasted. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, they're done. There's absolutely no chance of survival. This ADP is getting absolutely smacked. <laughs> It's about at this point that my opponent starts sweating. And they're like, oh no, what's happening? What? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what's, ha what's happening? No, no, wait, no. But I'm playing, but I'm playing ADP. I'm not supposed to, no, no, not like, not like this. Not like, not like this. <laughs> Like this, <laughs> but I'm playing.
playing Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. How could this happen? <laughs> you just, de you definitely just yell horn him. Yeah. I think you just smack him with the yell horn. And then... That's fine. I'll level blow one more time. Yep. Volcanion hates this. One silly trick to stop fire decks in their tracks. One silly trick makes the fi <laughs> makes the fire decks cry. No, man, no switch, bro. No switch, bro. No. Dang it, man. Five out of ten Volcanians hate it. All right, so we're playing against Senti Scorch. You know what's insane is if the Jirachi's active, I just knock it out because it's already affected by a special condition which is awesome no switch I got switch so they go stellar wish again quick ball maybe now they day day change yep 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 sounds about right Crobats. There goes the Volcanian. All right, so we can take the knockout. I think we do take the knockout. That makes sense. This next turn. Cool, we've got energy. Um... All I need to do is just poison that. Scoop up net. That back down. Okay. And all we need is the Salazzle off the research. Cool. Seems good. I'm just hitting with the old derisive roasting for 180. Nice. Triple Excel. The Brunos are so sick in this deck. All right. We love the Brunos. We're going to get to draw so many cards. You don't need that much with this deck. Honestly, it's it's like fine. With level ball, it's so much easier to get the things that you need. It's kind of fine. All right, I think we giant heart that just to thin the deck before Bruno so that we won't draw back into it. Okay, we've got Salazzle. And I think we just did a change and get another Bell Sprout out of my deck to thin. We can bench the Salandit and did a change. And we're looking for Energy Weeping Bell, at least. All right, Yellhorn Energy is like the bare minimum of what we needed, so that's fine. So we can confuse. And at least do 90, which 90 sets up for a bigger turn next turn. So that's cool. So just go there, derisive roasting. And then they take a knockout. I can crowbat, draw more. The confusion is just very good as well. It forces them to have switch. And assuming that they have to attack with a senti scorch again, now it's it now it's in range. If I just confuse. Uh, 
All right, they have boss. You're just gonna go for my Dedenny. Like they have to go for my Dedenny, but if they go for the Dedenny, then they just leave this here. And if they flip tails, it's so nuts. Yeah, look at that. That's so sick. All right, so I don't want to Marnie. I have one more U-turn board in my deck. I have a couple of energies, but I feel like I kind of have to Marnie here. So I don't want to get the quick ball into the discard pile. I'll just Marnie. And we'll see what we can find. We get the energy, but I don't have the Weeping Bell. I feel like that's fine though. I feel like I just saved this here. I mean, honestly, like if they knock out my Dedenny, then I knock out this. I have two boss in the discard pile. Ugh. Um, or if I retreat in this, I guess retreating this Lazzle is not bad. How many energy do I have left? Because if I hit for, yeah, that's not bad. That's fine. We'll hit for 90 more. So they're 210. So now I don't I only need two special conditions to knock them out. Which is cool. The Kogus trap could also put in work. For sure. This deck is definitely a lot of fun. I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And it's far more consistent than I would expect it to be. And I think that's because of level ball. Right? I mean, level ball just makes this deck shine, for sure. Now, if they bring up this Rush Ram Charizard, we can one-hit KO that. I mean, this deck absolutely takes care of tag team Pokemon, no problem. So we're going to double blaze. I've got the research. We just got to find energy. I only have two horns left, so we got to find a horn. There's the energy. Got the Kogus Trap. Confused Poison, it's not enough. So we have to research. Let's see what we find. We don't have the horn. And I have no way to get the horn. That's fine. Only one horn in the deck, one energy in the deck. Okay, come on. Derisive roasting. So I mean like I have to find, it's just a matter of finding the attackers right now. So I need to find my ordinary rod this next turn. I have two energy left. It's plenty of energy. I can knock out this, then knock out that. But I need to find the rod to put a Salandit back into the deck. That's actually, this This makes it so I can win, actually, frankly. That was the one thing I needed them to do, which now makes it much easier, because now I don't need to find the rod. So now we're chilling. So we promote the bell sprout. Oh, that boss's orders hurts. Um, I still have Mewtwo in the deck, though, so I can do that. So we go here, research. We really wanted to keep the boss on the other side, but we unfortunately didn't have it. Okay, so we go scoop up net. The Weeping Bell. Evolve it. Inflict the special conditions. Level ball, scope the deck. There is no Mewtwo left in the deck, that's fine. Okay. 
but I'll find it off the prizes. Definitely we'll find it off the prizes. There's also no weeping bells left in the deck. That's cool. We'll find some sauce off these prizes. All right, derisive roasting. Take the knockout. And then, let's see. We're looking for Mewtwo. We're looking for Mewtwo. There it is. And we're looking for Weeping Bell. There it is. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. We've got them right where we want them, chat. I've got two prizes remaining. Now, so long as they just don't reset stamp. If they do reset stamp, it's fine. I could still Crobat if I find it. We've only got two prizes left. Eldegoss will do it. Looks like they're just going to come in with Sentry Scorch Radiating Heat. GG's. They know they can't bring up the Reshizard. So, wait a minute. Yeah, no, no, no. We've got it. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, is there a... I got to check my deck. Because if I do... Oh, no, I could just evolve. I have it. I have it. I have it. All right, it's 210. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it. All right, here we go. Yeah, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. I was like, I don't need to confuse it. Yeah, yeah, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we got it, we got it, we got it. All right, yeah, yeah, no throws, no throws for me, chat. Yeah, got it right here, 210. I always think it's 180, but no, it is actually 210 because the burn, the poison, and we got him. GG's. I was thinking, you know, do I have to yell horn? No, I didn't have to yell horn. Good stuff. Broken deck, man. Broken deck, chats. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash trickygym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a super welcoming community there, and we'd love you to be a part of it. If you've got extra cards lying around the house and you're trying to get some cash for them, or store credit, or a new booster box, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. I'll drop the link in the description below. We are always buying bulk and singles at Full Grip Games, and selling your cards to the shop directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.